this video we are going to see how to modify a style file in FreeCAD. Now I am building a machine and I need these connectors for more robust connection. Um, so um, the wire that I am using is thicker than the one that the person that designed this design used. So I will need to modify the STL. First thing that we are going to do is to import STL. Then we are going to go to part toolbar and we are going to create shape from mesh. Then we are going to create solid from that shape. And then we will go in part design workbench and uh, we are going to make new body. This body will link to the solid that we created from the STL file and we can now modify it. We can now select the face on which we want to make a sketch. Once selected, uh, we will need to add reference geometry uh, to uh, this sketch. Um, and uh, since I need to, to make uh, this two holes larger, I will need to, to find the center of this uh, holes or circles. And I am adding reference geometry now in the uh, that's uh, in the shape of uh, three dots for each circle. With these three dots, I will use three dots uh, circle uh, drawing possibility, and I will draw circles uh, using these references. Uh, I will use construction line to uh, draw uh, the first circle. Once we draw the, that circle, we will have the center um, from which we can draw now, draw now the real circle uh, with which we are going to cut this part or hole, larger hole. Now this is, as usual, adding dimension constraints and other constraints until uh, the sketch is uh, in green, fully green. Now I am measuring uh, what is the diameter that I will need and I am adding a little bit extra uh, of uh, width, you know, in case that uh, uh, it's better to, to have extra in this case. The precision is not that much of that importance to me. Now in case that I need to change this dimension, I have connected these two circles with equal constraint so that I will only need to change one circle, dimension of one circle. Now I'm using a cut option and we see problem on in the upper part. Now I, uh, while drawing a circle with three points, I forgot to use the first time the construction line. Uh, so I draw uh, uh, it as a regular circle and uh, it leaves the shape as you can see here. So I will need to go back in the sketch and I will need to transform that circle to construction. Uh, so that circle slide to, uh, to construction line and uh, the problem will disappear. Now I will need this uh, hole to go all the way through, so I am going to use through all uh, option in uh, cut part in cut task and it's done. Now we can use mesh toolbar to convert this body to mesh or we can export it directly. In my installation of Arch Linux and this free CAD, uh, I am not capable of exporting it through mesh uh, option, so I am going to use directly uh, direct uh, export uh, option. Um, now we need to select active body so that the program can export the file correctly. Um, 
now I have exported it and I have given it name and so on uh, but I have to cover that part uh, because of some other project that I do now uh, now it's exported now we are going to uh, order STL and the procedure is the same uh, we go to part park uh, part workbench then we go uh, to part options convert shape uh, create shape from mesh uh, then we convert it to solid uh, then uh, we go in part design and we create active body and it links this solid then we select the surface on which we want to make sketch we add constraints uh, from this uh, body uh, in this case again we will need three three uh, dots for each circle so that we can use three dot option for uh, creating circle um, and now this is going faster because we have already done, done it once and everything else is the same no need to comment on that Now this error is secure from time to time, but um, if uh, solver message is fully constrained, uh, then uh, there is no problem with the sketch. It just happens and it disappears, so we can continue with working. We repeat the same procedure. I am going to be in the same folder as before, so I am just going to save it as two because I have named the folder uh, the correct name. Um, and as we can see, we need to select the body, then we need to export it directly through this method. Now I am going to import it in, in Orca Slicer. I am using Bubble Up X1 Carbon, X, uh, X1 Carbon, and I am going to add as much of um, parameters, outer parameters as possible so that it will be robust and since I'm using transparent PG I want it to be see-through. Uh, so any support will limit the see-through ability of this part. I am checking manually IMS to see if uh, every color is in correct order and every plastic is in correct order and I will shortly let it print. Now it's printed and let's test fit it. It looks really good. See you in the next video.